use chords as a like way to respond with the death of a friend, um, and I found that they put me into a really like meditative, open space. Um, and so I was able to bring the feeling that I had myself. And originally, the first workshop I did with these, I um, me and a group of friends made these together and were able to kind of like process the death of our friend together. And I found it was like kind of had been sort of hard for us to talk about it as a group before, but this workshop sort of like facilitated made us feel like a lot more relaxed and open to like talk about what we were feeling um, because of the like, tactile movement of braiding um, and just like this yeah, tactile relationship with fabric. Um, so I just found from, I wanted to share like that feeling of inner peace and the feeling that had been created with others. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to share that. And so I, that's why I created this space today. Um, and I also, it's also a response to like a lot of Experiencing a lot, like seeing a lot of violence this year, um, politically and personally, and so wanting to create a space of peace um, and bringing that into a public, like a more public space. So I wanted to just create a space of peace and connection and healing, and I definitely think that happened today. One of the people that came by today was actually with Nathan Ford, and um, he had uh, was ex kind of working through a breakup that had happened, and so at the end he put these two fabrics going like separating from each other at the bottom, they were represented like the breakup. And so like the chords were like a way to deal with it. And I think also just being able to talk to strangers sometimes. Sometimes being able to talk to strangers about things you're going through can actually be more, like can be really helpful um, because they don't have the same kind of like bias that people in your personal life do. So it's, I think it's kind of nice to create like in public, like also just knowing you can go out in public and, and just be open and vulnerable and, and, not, and trusting with others, with people we don't know. I'm Ursula Andrea. I'm a Houston artist. What I do, this is a installation I did at this bus stop. Um, it's a proof of concept for a larger project I would like to do where I work with Houston Metro to bring art to all of the buses and trains in the city. I'm really interested in this and using art to um, engage with the city and with public spaces. I'm also interested in yeah, creating like the social interactions, not just the art itself, so that one, it changes people's relationship to public transit, um, People have kind of a negative connotation right now towards it. I want to make it a more positive and engaging experience. Um, and ultimately, I want to reach everybody. I want my goal is to have more people on the street um, to facilitate more of the exchange of all the amazing cultures we have here. Um, one in four Houstonians is from a different country, and we speak every language here. Um, and so I'd really like, I think one thing we're missing is like more ways to be connected. And so if more people are out on the street, like the people that stop by today, I think it'll facilitate a lot more like cultural exchange and I'm really excited about what that could mean for the city on a long term um, and then also just creating a safer city by getting more people on the street um, also cleaning up our air we have a big air pollution problem with the refineries and all the driving um, and also making people healthier if they're more doing more physical activity by walking around the city taking public transit it'll also create a more healthy Houston okay, I feel really grateful and really connected and I was I was just really excited that we all got to spend time together and, and connect and I'm really happy about that.